Once upon a twilight serene, in the heart of a whispering forest, there was a hidden glade that shimmered with a gentle light. This was no ordinary light, it was the glow of the twilight blooms, flowers that blossomed with the setting sun and cradled the secrets of the night. In this enchanted place, the animals spoke and the trees hummed lullabies. Every creature, from the tiniest ant to the grandest bear, knew of the glade and the magic held within. Yet, it was not a place you could find if you were simply looking. It revealed itself only to the pure of heart at the moment when the sun kissed the horizon goodnight. As twilight approached this special evening, a group of children wandered through the forest. They were a merry band from the village nearby, each child as different as the leaves upon the trees, yet united by a sense of adventure and wonder. Leading them was Ilara, a girl with hair as wild as the wind and eyes full of stars. She had heard tales of the twilight glade from her grandmother and felt in her heart that tonight was the night it would reveal itself to her. Close behind her was Jamie, whose laughter was as infectious as his curiosity. He carried with him a notebook filled with sketches of all the creatures he hoped to meet. Then there was Mina, whose quiet demeanor masked an unquenchable thirst for knowledge. She knew every bird's song and every tree's whisper. Beside her trotted Sam, the youngest but bravest of them all. He had a pocket full of seeds and a plan to plant a garden for the animals they might encounter. Lastly, there was Zara, who could run as swiftly as the deer and whose heart was as kind. She had a gift for speaking to animals and longed to chat with the Twilight Glade's inhabitants. As the sun dipped lower, painting the sky in hues of orange and pink, the children felt a thrum in the air, a melody that seemed to call their names. They followed it, their feet knowing the way though their minds did not understand how. Before long, they stepped into a clearing and gasped in awe. The twilight glade unfolded before them, alive with bioluminescent flowers and plants that bathed the space in ethereal light. The air was filled with the sweet scent of jasmine and the soft, harmonic trills of nightingales. The children were greeted by a wise old owl perched upon a branch of an ancient oak. His feathers shimmered with the same twilight glow, and his eyes held the wisdom of the ages. Welcome, young ones, he hooted softly. You have been called here by the glade itself, for it knows your hearts are true. The children sat in a semicircle at the owl's feet, each eager to listen to the stories he had to share. With a voice that echoed the rustle of the leaves, the owl began to weave tales of the forest, of the moon's lullabies and the sun's whispers, of the dance of the fireflies and the giggles of the brooks. As the night deepened and the stars began to twinkle in the velvety sky, other animals emerged. There were foxes with coats as red as autumn leaves, rabbits with fur as soft as clouds, and deer with eyes like liquid amber. They gathered around, listening intently to the owl's stories. Mina pointed to the constellations, sharing their names with her friends. Zara chatted with a family of hedgehogs who were keen to join the gathering. Jamie sketched furiously, capturing the magic of the moment. Ilara sat, eyes closed, feeling the peace of the glade fill her soul. Sam carefully placed his seeds around the glade, a promise of beauty to come. 
The owl spoke of the guardians of the glade, mystical beings who protected the balance of nature and the secrets of the stars. He told the children that they, too, could be guardians if they promised to respect and cherish the wonders of the world. The children agreed with eager nods, their voices a chorus of assent. As they made their vow, the twilight blooms around them glowed brighter, sealing their promise. When the first light of dawn began to touch the horizon, the owl gave each child a feather, a token to remember their night of enchantment. Carry the magic of the glade with you, he said. Let it guide your steps and inspire your dreams. As the children made their way back to the village, the glade faded behind them, but the warmth of the experience remained, a spark in their hearts that would never dim. And so, as they nestled into their beds, the children whispered a good night to the twilight, knowing that the magic of the glade was not just a tale, 